I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness. How to stay current and relevant. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Watt here. Today we're back for another episode of Bleach Brave Souls. But like last episode, or I don't even know, or like a couple episodes, this is more of a guide as opposed to just a standard video. I don't even know if we do standard videos anymore. <laughs> this is gonna be a guide, my guide, on how to send characters to six stars. So, let's begin, guys. First off, you're gonna need one of the six star ascendable characters. The six star ascendable characters are as followed. Byakuya, the regular one, the basic Byakuya. Red Kenpachi, Bunka Ichigo, Sajin. Grimjo, Uryu, Mayuri, Bankai Soifan, Shinji, and as well as the master himself, Gin. So guys, if you have any of these six characters, or six, any of these characters, you are able to ascend them. There is a total of 10 characters right now that can be ascended in this game, and uh, there will be more to come. Caleb has announced that they will be almost everybody at the end, but it's going to take a while. There's a lot of flashers in the game right now, as you can see, and... Um, yeah, they're, they're gonna get two of them eventually, guys, so don't even worry. So, second step is to farm the Hogyokus. A lot of people have been having trouble with this, a lot of people haven't. I've, getting a, I've gotten a lot of people telling me that, Oh, how can you struggle with this? I got two on my first run. Well, like, congrats. It's not easy. You're just a lucky bastard. Um, and you need a total of three Hogyokus. The way you can attain them, from what I hear from most people, is through the stamina... Uh, crystal event the the one from Kisuke but but that is not true I can confirm to you that I got one myself from the coin trial event so it doesn't have to be exactly the stamina one I guess it might have higher chance might be more common I don't know but I did get one from the coin trial I will post it on screen right now so you guys can see when I first started this account I got a Hogyoku as well as I'll post one more on screen right now of me getting it from the stamina event so it is possible from both and uh, I haven't gotten any from the focus one yet but I have only farmed this three times right now um, so I can't really confirm on that but I'm sure they're attainable from any single Kisuke event to be dropped the way these drop because a lot of people are kind of curious is uh, they drop near the end of the mission they drop after you beat Kisuke you won't see anything pop up until the actual end screen where you see your inventory pop up that's the only way you'll be able to find out if you got one or not they're not going to drop from enemies during the mission or enemies after the mission you're going to see it at the end from Kisuke whether or not he gave it to you or not so you never know it's kind of a risk you're gonna have to farm it 20 30 times who knows how long it takes you can get in your first try you can get in your 50th try but uh eventually you will get a hogyoku so after you have acquired at least three hogyokus per character the next thing is to max out your character that you are trying to ascend so i wasn't too sure on how to ascend my soy fun for example i got her to level 100 and i didn't see the option pop up but what I didn't know and what I found out later on was that in order for you to be able to ascend these characters, they have to have their skill tree fully maxed out. So as you can see, my Rukia skill tree is at 96%. Let's see if we can max her out right now on video. Unfortunately, we cannot. We don't have enough orbs. We don't have enough large. So all I have left is one more for attack and two more for, or actually, yeah, two more for her soul trait and then she will be maxed. I'm not rushing to ascend her to 6 star because she is dominating in the new uh, farming quest that just came out for the, uh, the JP server, the um, point system one, the one that I did a comparison on. She is absolutely murdering it. She has the, the element advantage or the, uh, the type advantage throughout 50% of this. So I do not want to ascend her just yet because she will go very quickly. I just quickly want to point out this new loading screen on the JP server where they talk about the three items. They talk about the chappy. I don't know the name of this one or the name of the other one, but they discuss them and their abilities. I can't wait for this little screenshot to come out in global. So guys, um, just so you guys know, um, it is really hard to get them to six star. I mean, it's you got to ascend your character at least four times to get into level 100, which you guys, I'm sure all of you guys know how to get a five star to level 100. You need around 90,000. No, you need exactly, what am I saying around? You need 90,000 XP per level 
and uh, you got to do that four times. So there's four ascends, so you need a total of 360,000 experience in order to ascend your character to level 80. And from level 80, you need 10 stamina crystals, 250 small stamina crystals, and uh, 60 medium stamina crystals in order to get her from level 80 or whoever your character is to level 100. After that, you have to max out the skill tree, all right? So we talked about that skill tree, three Hogyokus, and uh, a little option will appear at the bottom allowing you to ascend your character. Um, I do not have it yet, but when I do, I will make a video ascending my Bunkai Soifan. As you can see, then they become super sick with it. That's a Ascended Grimjaw right there, which looks amazing. Oh my god, Ascended Grimjaw looks like a beast. Most characters have a thunder ore around them. Grimjaw has like a blue fire ore. He looks like a fucking monster. Like, it, it is just amazing, guys. So once you have ascended them, um, this is just a little extra news. I, I don't know if a lot of you guys are going to need this information. But once you have ascended them, they will get a new skill tree. And uh, they will require these special crystals, which aren't out on global yet but will be coming soon to you guys so don't worry it's just because the whole concept of six stars hasn't come out on global yet it is only strictly for jp but there's a yorichi it's similar to kisuke's event but it's yorichi's and she just she does drop crystals as well these are um but she drops jewels so they're not called crystals these are called jewels and she drops focus jewels there is stamina jewels defense jewels sp jewels and um attack jewels just like you would and as you can see, also see here on the screen 75 orbs you attain when you max out a six star which is pretty cool i like that it should be 100 though considering how much xp it takes to uh ascend a character to max just so you guys know if you thought ascending a five star took a long time eight five stars 16 four star or 64 <laughs> three stars in order to max out a five star character six stars take double guys so it will take Eight, or it'll take 16 five stars, um, 32 four stars, and 128 three stars to max out a six star character. But we'll get into that when we actually get the six star character, and I'll discuss them. I don't know why it lagged for a bit there. Oh, it's lagging a lot. Well, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to ascend. Once you have all that, your characters will look like Shinji over here and look like fucking beast. And uh, my Rukia is super close, guys. I and uh, yeah guys, my soy fun is super close to being ascended and um, once I do, I will make a video on it. So sorry for the lag right here, I'm just going to end off the video real quick, let me just beat Yorichi and it froze. I don't know what's happening with the program right now guys, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, leave a thumbs up if it helped you when I sent it to 6 stars and uh, I'll definitely make more in the future. So I love you guys so much, thank you guys for all the support recently, you guys mean the world to me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Been your boy Rod, and I'm out guys. Peace!